In the second video of the quick chip series, we're going to make a pocket. We're going to use very simple geometry once again. So we're going to go to wireframe, rectangle. It's going to be two by two, anchored from the center. We're going to drop our rectangle right on this zero zero point of the document. Now it's in, we can edit it if necessary because it's still light blue. We don't need to. So I'm going to confirm the green check. Now we have some geometry, but making a pocket, we're going to always have fillets in the corner because of a round tool. I'm going to select the chain and do all the fillets at one time because they're all going to be the same. Right now they're all going to be a quarter inch, and that's going to work, so we're going to confirm that. Now our geometry is ready to toolpath. First thing we need to do is select a machine. We can do different machines in the same document. Right now we're just going to do milling, so we're going to stick with that. We're going to do a generic post, and we have our tool group. There's some interesting things you can do with a tool group. We're going to address that in other videos later down the road. Now we're going to go to pocketing. Right now we don't see it in our gallery because it's abbreviated. We're going to open it up. We can find our pocket. And now it's asking for the first chain to pocket. We're going to pick this top line here and we make a note of our arrow. If we had to do multiple pockets it's very advantageous to make sure the direction is the same on all of them. Otherwise you could cause yourself problems. We're going to confirm that that's what we need. We're going to pick a tool. I'm going to grab a tool from the library. I'm going to use a 7 16 flat end mill because the radius of that's going to be slightly smaller than the quarter inch. It's better to sweep that radius. I'm going to give it a tool number. I'm going to call it tool number two. And length offsets are good at this point. I'm going to use the default peeds and speeds just to keep things simple. Next thing I need to do is give it a depth. And our linking parameters, I can do this. The top of stop is going to be zero. I, this part is a half inch thick. So I need to put in minus 0.5. And I'll confirm that. Now to see if we got the depth that we anticipated, I'm just going to go in an isometric view. Everything looks good, so I'm going to post some code to send it to the machine. The G1 here is the posting button, so I'm going to post my operation. I'm just going to confirm that that's what I want to do. And our code expert is going to come up. Now that we have some code, we can send it to the machine. In this series of videos, we kept the details to a minimum. As we progress, we'll give more details and more information in later videos.